Da, na? Da, ok, răsnei. So we're right here at the campus, Brad the Snake Inn, and later on we're gonna go to the Manduyuk and release the flipping Brad Snake. Yesterday night was surely unexpected. I was out in the public park, and not long after comes this little guy. One of my friends saw the snake near the playground, and since there is a lot of children in there, caught it to relocate back to its natural habitat. And just like in my previous video, this one is another Philippine grey-tailed rat snake, a non-venom snake but truly is wild. Stick, 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 Mira. Go bala. Filipino ground nut snake. A snake. Nut snake. Gagi. Kibot ako, mi sa mga kon. Sa mga ka. Na miss ko ba ako magdakop? Dakpa bro. Dakpa kon dakpa. Ay ka. Ticha aga raso. Ay, haba kon ta. Haba. Makita ko haba. Ko ta ba. Ano na hindi ko na. I miss my mom, Dakob, Lipat, and Aboa. Was it about a bastard? I have a young man. The Pamoga, the other Baba. The Pagapita or another. I see. Bogon, it brings back. Now, Baba, but it don't go. I mean, may, may, another anang. Aggressive mo pero ay harmless. Ito ba? Harmless na gano'n? At sabi nung anong nga Venom? Paman. Paman. Gagi. Gagi ka na kapag may kapag Oh, may ano? Have a ladies. This is the Philippine brown rat snakes. Just caught it right over there. Right at the public place. Usually you can be found public places. And especially the house. Because it feeds on rats. Hence the name. It's very aggressive. It's gonna bite me. Yeah. It already bit me right in the hand, and it might try it to bite me once again. <laughs> it's my first time catching this snake barehandedly, and yeah, absolutely amazing. Such an experience. It's such an experience for me to be able to see a snake like this again. Um, it's been a while that I haven't found a snake. The size this brings me back all the memories that I had. <clears throat> Absolutely beautiful. This is the Philippine rat snake. Oh. <laughs> Not really sure about the exact species. This one has a black tail, probably a genus of Cologniatus. Um, found it right at the. <laughs> Careful, man. Uh, found it right at the plaza during the evening. But this one is actually a journal species. This one it is active during the day. And yeah, it was trying to get away from humans. There's a lot of kids right in the past at that time. I tell wearing gloves, I don't want to get bitten. Though this one is not venomous at all. Though it's very defensive, mostly bites. Look. Can be quite cold. Uh, this one's still a juvenile, or maybe a 
this about it. Reaching about maybe four feet long. Its diet consists of rats, hence the name rat snake. Oh. This one is actually a male. Found found out yesterday that it has hemipenis, which means that they have two penises. Absolutely beautiful. As you can see, oh. <laughs> coloration it has black tail and brownish coloration right at the upper body it has skill scale as well actually this red snake can reach up to six feet long it is locally known as a laguason as they thought it is venomous but in fact it is venomous they also thought that it was a cobra now we will release it right to its habitat where it belongs so I'm on my way going to the hills that's where we're gonna release it we're just gonna find some place that is somehow remote um, actually it's not that remote but still it's, it's a hill so yeah hopefully it just doesn't and to go back right at the public places especially that it is near here at the campus Actually, this place is also diverse. This is where I found uh, two monitor lizards. I don't know what exact species. Uh, giant blue millipede, which I only saw right in this particular area. And one of the rarest things that I ever saw in here was the uh, pivot. Yeah. Are known as Musang. Oh, some people go in here to see the top. There's a view rod right in there. Also, some religious stuff. Statues. I will set this one free. Right back to its home. Oh, I hope it doesn't go. In public places again. Look, eh? Beautiful. You might try to bite me. <laughs> You're gonna bite me. Oh. You're gonna bite me. Look how beautiful that snake is. Absolutely. I'm in love with this snake. It's not biting me. Yeah, Look how fast it is. Wait. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you see how fast it is? Once I let go, it's one of these flip layers. See right over there? Look how fast it is. Absolutely flitting everywhere. To get space right over there. It's going right up in the tree, and there you go. Beautiful. See the tail right over there. See the tail over there. That's the body. It's probably gonna go somewhere else, or I might hide this as it still feels threatened because I was he. It's right over there. Look how fast that thing is. Hey, bud. Good luck. As you can see, I'm very near it. It's not trying to bite me. All it wants to do is go away. That's how beautiful snakes are, as I always told you. Actually, snakes are very scared of humans. They're more scared of humans that, than we are to them as the video shows that snake was in a public place so yeah i tried to catch it just because it is in a public places it might get killed or it might harm a human especially there's a lot of kids out there so 
relocated is somewhere far from human interaction. So, yeah. Usually rescue snake, even uh, venomous ones. Yeah, I've encountered venomous snakes as well. King Cobra, Philippine Pit Viper, Coral Snake. But uh, what I'm trying to show you is to educate you guys that snakes or other animals have ecological roles that they provide in nature. Well, I know that some are venomous, but yeah. if you got in a public place, you can ask for someone's help to catch it or just give it some space and it will go away. Focusing on snakes, because I just think that it is one of the most killed animals that usually get killed. Just because of the misconception that it is deadly or venomous, but in fact, not all of them are, and most of them aren't even venomous. 